Today we're putting up some allure siding, it's similar to hardy board. It's four by eight sheets uh, where the, they're going to join, join together. I put some really thin flashing tape and I also put it at the bottom. Um, so any water that runs down would just keep on going down. Put some flashing around the door and then over here there's white silicone that's paintable. It's uh, about 600% stretch they say so it'll expand and contract. And behind that is the flashing tape that's over here. These big sheets of Allura cement board are relatively heavy. They're four by eight, four feet by eight feet. And they're relatively heavy, so um once i put it up here i don't want to have to use all my strength to hold it in place so i put this board down here and it's sitting on dirt i packed it down tight so this board won't go down any further i can't there's nothing to nail into to accept this concrete and i don't want this board permanently on here so it's sitting on dirt underneath here and then down here i drove this two by four into the dirt down there pulled it up put dirt in the hole, drove it back down, did that a couple times to make sure deep down in there is nice and compacted. So when I put something up here on this board, it didn't sink in the dirt more. So I made sure it was nice and compacted tight there. And once I got it there, I took this board, pulled it up to the right height and put a screw in there. And then this board here is to keep it from falling away this way. So then when I put this next heavy piece on, uh, it'll just rest here and I can hold it with the palm, palm on my hand without putting a lot of strain on myself and it'll just be easy to, to put it here and nail it without wrestling with it and making it quite difficult. So I just try to do things to make them easy and simple without straining myself. Okay, I'm using a framing nailer and not a siding nailer. Uh, they're not horizontal slats, so I felt because it was a four by eight sheet, I could use the framing nailer. Use, use small nails, so they're not big diameter. Uh, they're ring shank, and they're a little bit over two inches long. So I did some tests on some boards and they seem to do a nice job. Um, they've got enough of a head surface to hold them plus they're glued on there, so I don't feel like it's going anywhere for sure. Um, but I was happy with the way these worked. Got the uh, flashing going in between the two, plus it's siliconed right next to the edge. And then I got flashing at the bottom and then flashing over here where the other sheet's going to be adjacent. This is one of those ladders that has a deal where you can pull these pins out and it allows it either slide down or in this case slide up so you can work on a hill and this worked really nice with this uneven slope here to be able to get the, the window in. So just these ladders really work nice for that. So we're getting this side of the gable end of the house kind of wrapped up. Um, when I cut like the piece off there, I use that remaining piece for the angle for the next piece. So once you get your angle done right, then you can use that as a pattern. The tricky one was the one above this window because it's one piece and I had to cut that angle and that angle. Um, so I made sure I took a piece here 
and put it up there for a pattern and then found another piece that matched that angle because believe it or not this roof angle and this one are just a little bit off I mean, it's not much but it's just it is off and it's just the way houses are <laughs> they're not 100% they're not straight that's the way wood is so you can take those extra pieces and use them for a pattern as you're going down one side and then same with the other side 